Hello everyone, this is Rohit Kumar. I am here to explain you two important terms of class 12 physics that is impact parameter and distance of closest approach. These two terms concern the alpha particle trajectory. So alpha particle trajectory means what? Alpha particle trajectory is nothing but the path followed by the alpha particles in the gold foil experiment or through the first alpha particle scattering experiment. You can see here these tiny holes are alpha particles and these blue lines represent the initial velocity vectors and this red line represents the deviation in the alpha particle path and this dotted circle represents the gold atom inside the gold foil and this is fixed and this straight line represents the path of the alpha particles if there is any deviation then only red color otherwise blue you already know alpha particle have charge plus 2 because alpha particle is nothing but 2 he4 helium nucleus and how plus 2 because there is no electrons and the gold atom how charge 79 e e is nothing but the, the magnitude of the unit charge that is 1.602 into 10 raised to minus 19 coulomb these alpha particles have plus charge and gold nucleus also have plus charge so there should be repulsion force and I, am, I have shown here in the red color this is the backward scattering and this angle is 180 degree because if alpha particles move in a straight line then the angle of deviation is zero because without deviation only it can move in a straight line or straight path and this is the back so backward scattering and uh, these two lines represent the deviation less than 90 degree because this line this is exactly 90 degree line so these two lines or two deviations are less than 90 degree and these two lines represent backward de deviations now I will explain you one of the term that is impact parameter impact parameter which is represented by the letter B definition of impact parameter is like this the perpendicular distance of between the initial velocity vector of the alpha particle to the center of the target nucleus to explain this I will name this alpha particle as 1 2 3 4 and 5 this is the center of the nucleus these are the initial velocity vectors of the respective alpha particles I already named the 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay so if you want to find the impact parameter for 3 now initial velocity vector of the 3 is like this center of the nucleus also in the same line so there is no uh, separation between center and the initial velocity vector of 3 so impact parameter for 3 is a 0 impact parameter of impact parameter for the particle 3 is a 0 now for alpha particle 4 impact parameter is this is the uh, initial velocity vector of the alpha particle 4 and this is the center so the separation between these two center and the uh, initial velocity vector is this much so this is the impact parameter of 4 and uh, then this separation gives the impact parameter of 5 or this distance gives the impact parameter for 2 and this much is the impact parameter for the uh, particle 1 or you can calculate impact parameter in the initial position uh, for example uh, if this line uh, moves through the center of the nucleus then this uh, is uh, you can take this line as the center and uh, this separation gives the impact parameter for 4 
and of this line and the initial vector also have the same line so uh, impact parameter for 3 is of 0 you get the same result in this position now i will ask two questions to check your mind whether you got my point or not uh, the first question is uh, what is the scattering angle or angle of scattering uh, uh, when the impact parameter is zero and the second question is like this uh, explain the variation of scattering angle with respect to impact parameter so answer for first question answer for first question when b is zero the scattering angle should be in backward scattering exactly straight line in the uh, reverse direction so the angle of scattering is 180 degree now answer for second question is like this so when the impact parameter increases angle of scattering decreases when the impact parameter decreases angle of scattering increases or we can say angle of scattering is inversely proportional to impact parameter you can check here when impact parameter is zero the angle of scattering is maximum that is 180 degree when impact parameter is large there is no deviation that means the angle of scattering is zero so uh, impact parameter and uh, angle of scattering inversely proportional uh, when uh, angle of scattering increases impact parameter decreases or impact parameter increases angle of scattering decreases now i will explain you another important term that is distance of closest approach distance of closest approach which is represented by the letter d definition the perpendicular distance from the point where entire kinetic energy of the alpha particle becomes electrostatic potential energy to the center of the nucleus target nucleus to explain this i will consider uh, one case uh, that is b equals to 0 impact parameter b equals to 0 you already know alpha particle have the charge plus 2e and gold nucleus have the charge plus 79e both are plus uh, so there should be repulsive force initially alpha particle have energy 5.75 mega electron volt uh, in the form of kinetic energy so there should be velocity it has some velocity so in that velocity alpha particle moves towards the gold nucleus because of the plus charge gold nucleus repels alpha particle in the reverse direction so velocity decreases and it reaches to zero at some point where kinetic energy becomes potential energy using conservation of energy so first uh, alpha particle have velocity very high and then it moves towards the towards the gold nucleus and that velocity decreases and reaches to zero at some point where kinetic energy becomes potential energy from that point to the center of the nucleus what we have the distance is called distance of closest approach in this diagram this is the distance of closest approach and alpha particle cannot go further close to the nucleus this is the uh, minimum distance where alpha particle can reach further close to the nucleus it is not possible because of the uh, high repulsive force of the gold nucleus using the definition of distance of closest approach i will derive the expression for d according to the definition the point where kinetic energy becomes potential energy to the center of the nucleus the distance is r or d and charge of the alpha particle is plus 2e and charge of the gold nucleus plus ze where ze is of 79 so kinetic energy equals to potential energy so expression for kinetic energy half mv square 
and expression for electrostatic potential energy that is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 so q1 is plus 2 e and q2 z e upon r so r is the distance so r equals to d i can substitute d here so d equals to 2z e square upon 4 pi e epsilon naught you can write half m e square or kinetic energy k this is the expression to find the distance of process approach of any uh, gold atom or any uh, atom significance of this d is uh, to find the size of the nucleus according to rutherford the size of the nucleus is uh, 10 to the power minus 14 meter to 10 to the power minus 15 meter and this formula will help you in the competitive exams